Crew standing right behind Governor Greg Abbott right. today uh, as they were having the press conference. Part of Governor Abbott's news conference in Uvalde, if you missed it, did turn into kind of this political spectacle. Yeah, it happened when his Democratic challenger, Beto O'Rourke, showed up, interrupted, and confronted him. Political reporter Jack Fink is here to show us what went down during and after that news conference. Jack has definitely made its rounds on, on social media today. Well, Nicole and Doug, Democrat Beto O'Rourke surprised Republican leaders who were in the middle of updating the community and media about the deadly mass shooting. CBS News correspondent Janet Chamlian said right before the news conference began, O'Rourke came in to sit down in a seat saved by one of his campaign staff members and then challenged the governor and lieutenant governor, Dan Patrick. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. S sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey, sir, you're out of line. I'm sir, you're out of line. Please leave this auditorium. I can't believe you're a sick son of a bitch that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. That was Uvalde's mayor you heard and saw yelling at O'Rourke as officers escorted O'Rourke out who repeatedly tried to tell Governor Abbott and the other Republican leaders there that the deadly mass shootings are predictable and that this is on them unless they change policies. When O'Rourke spoke with reporters outside afterwards, he said what would prevent these shootings is if the state banned the sale of AR-15s, had universal background checks and red flag laws and extreme risk protective orders to prevent future shootings. Governor Abbott responded to O'Rourke after he left the news conference. We need all Texans to, in this one moment in time, put aside personal agendas, think of somebody other than ourselves, think about the people who were hurt, and help those who have been hurt. Now is the time to stop the next shooting. Um, right after Santa Fe High School was the time to stop the next shooting. Right after El Paso was the time to stop the next shooting. Right after Midland Odessa was the time to, to stop the next shooting. And in each case, we say this isn't the time. Now is the time, like literally right now. That's why I'm here. Governor Abbott and Senator Ted Cruz are scheduled to address the NRA convention this Friday in Houston. Senator Cruz just told Ken Molestine in an interview that he does intend to go to that and that Democrats demonize lawful gun owners. We have not heard back from Governor Abbott's office just yet. Nicole and Doug. All right, Jack, thank you.